We're just leaving from our house here on our local trails. We're gonna head over to the coffee shop. Urban ski touring. weird winter here in the Pacific Northwest. We did get quite a bit of snow in early January, but it didn't stick around very long. So I only managed to get out a few times in the skis, including that day of urban ski touring as we traveled a few kilometers to a local coffee shop. But otherwise it's pretty much been t-shirts and shorts weather. The good news is that I've managed to keep up a bit more run volume than I might have otherwise, and my season is about to get a jump start here as I head to San Francisco this weekend to run the Big Alta 28K. So in this video, I'll tell you more about that and about everything else that I have planned for the upcoming season. And I'll also explain some of the changes that are coming to the channel for 2024. Now, in the second to last episode of my 2023 training diaries, episode 17, I talked in detail about all my training and racing throughout the season in lead up to the Moab 240, which was my goal race for the year. So I won't spend too much time in this video reviewing how I did on my goals from last year. Definitely check out that video if you haven't already but I thought that I would quickly bring you up to speed on where I'm at on the editing of the rest of the content from last season. I published 18 episodes of my training diaries last year, including several full-length films, from our fast-packing adventure in Torres del Paine National Park in Patagonia, from a run on the Tonto Trail in the Grand Canyon, a shorter video from our first race of the season, the Wild Horse Traverse 52K here in British Columbia, and my feature-length film from the month I spent in England in the Lake District running the Bob Graham Round. But that still leaves me with the films from Audrey's race at the Iger Ultra Trail 100K, from our fast packing adventure in Slovenia on the Julian Alps Traverse, our seven day stage race, the Pyrenees Staged Run back in September, and of course from the Moab 240. Now you saw previews from all of those adventures in my training diaries throughout the season, but I promise that the full length films will be worth the wait, especially my feature length film from the Moab 240, which I'm actually almost finished and I cannot wait to show you all. It's definitely gonna be one of my best, thanks in no small part to the cinematography of my friend Derek Lytle that I collaborated with on the film. But I'm gonna be screening that first in a theater here in Vancouver before finally publishing it on YouTube, likely in mid-April. So those of you based here in Vancouver, do stay tuned to my Instagram account for more information about that event. Now on to the 2024 season, which as I said off the top, is getting a jump start this weekend for me with a 28K race in California. The Big Alta is an event by Daybreak Racing in collaboration with Free Trail, taking place in Marin County, just outside of San Francisco. Now, I've actually never run in San Francisco, but I know that the trails will be fast and buffed out, so it should be a really great time. And I'll get a chance to connect in person for the first time with a few other YouTubers, so stay tuned for footage from that. There's a 50K on Saturday, and the 28K will be on Sunday, but I knew that I wouldn't quite be in 50K race shape yet, and the 28K is really just gonna be a catered training run for me, and a little bit of a tune-up in preparation for another race that I'll be targeting, the Diaz Vista 50K, just outside of Vancouver here in early April. And I've run this race a couple of times, but not in years, and it's quite a historic race, and one that's pretty important to our local running community, so I'm looking forward to getting back out there. And it was taken over a few years back by Gary Robbins and his team at Coast Mountain Trail Running. And a few days after that, Audrey and I will be leaving for Ecuador, where we'll be hosting a trail running retreat in partnership with Vagabond Trails. And this trip sold out pretty quickly, and it'll be a great chance not only to do some running at altitude, but also to spend a few days towards the end of the week in the jungle. And so far I have nothing planned for May or June, but I'll likely plug in at least one big fast packing adventure, maybe something local here, before we then head to Colorado for the month of July. And first up there will be a fast pack of the Hard Rock 100 course, something known as Soft Rock, which I'll be doing with my good friend Adam, likely over four days. And of course there'll be a film coming from that, which I hope will do a really good job of showcasing the beauty and the ruggedness of the Hard Rock 100 course in daylight. 
I'll then spend the following week doing some trail maintenance on the Hard Rock course in order to earn myself an extra ticket in the lottery for 2025. And then we'll likely just hang out and watch the race unfold that following weekend. But in the meantime, Audrey will be doing her own training as she prepares to run the High Lonesome 100 the weekend after Hard Rock. I'll be there supporting her and filming her race, so that'll become a standalone film as well. And we'll be doing it all with the aid of the Baja Truck Camper from Ross Monster, the one that we spent the month in last year while in Moab. And then right after Audrey's race, it's going to be a quick turnaround here at home before leaving again for Iceland, where we'll be hosting a group on a week-long camping and hiking trip. And if all goes as planned, we're going to arrive a few days early so that I can do some fast packing there on a couple of routes that I have in mind as I wrap up my own training. And by the way, there is one spot left for that trip, so if anyone's interested, I'll leave a link to where you can learn more in the description below. But that week with the group will effectively be my taper because immediately after that, we'll be heading to Switzerland where I'll be racing the Swiss Alps 100 miler. And I've had this race on my list for years. It looks absolutely spectacular. And it's a hard rock qualifier. And we've been to Switzerland a few times over the past few years, but I haven't raced there since doing the Swiss Peaks 360K back in 2019. So I'm pretty excited to get back out there and to capture what should be some pretty incredible footage. And as soon as that's done, we'll be heading to Chamonix, where I'm going to kick my feet up and recover from my race, while Audrey hosts a ladies-only fastpacking adventure on the Tour de Mont Blanc over six days, again in collaboration with Vagabond Trails, who we worked with last year on the Tour de Mont Blanc. And that trip is almost sold out, but I believe there are a couple of spots left, so I'll leave a link to that one in the description as well. And after that, we're not totally sure. We're hoping to head to the Dolomites to do a fast pack of either the Altavia 1 or the Altavia 2, but we haven't booked anything yet. I was holding out hope that Gary and Coast Mountain Trail Running might be able to get their new 100 miler together for September here in nearby Chilliwack. But unfortunately, they weren't quite able to secure the permits for 2024, so that's going to have to wait until next year. So I'll likely be looking at something else in September or October. But really, this season is going to be all about doing everything I can to make sure that I'm successful in the lottery for next year's Hard Rock 100, including, of course, running that qualifier in Switzerland and then doing the two days of organized trail maintenance the week before this year's race in order to get that extra ticket. Now, in terms of my YouTube channel, there's easily a half dozen full-length films and shorter vlogs that I'll be producing just from those adventures that I mentioned. But something that I've been increasingly struggling with is finding the time to do all of the editing. And one of the things that gets in the way is unfortunately my Training Diary series. When I first introduced this back in 2022, it was a weekly series meant to go into detail about each run and workout and to summarize the previous week's training. And I ended up publishing 26 episodes. I then had to reduce this to a bi-weekly publication schedule in 2023, but I still published 18 episodes. This is in addition to the half dozen films that I published last year, including a couple from my adventures still left from 2022. But ultimately, those episodes from 2023 were really more like travel and adventure vlogs rather than the detailed accounts of my training that I originally intended them to be. And in reality, there ended up being a lot of overlap with the related full-length films, and they'd almost end up acting like a preview for my films. But then this would also mean that the films were delayed because I was spending so much time producing and editing those episodes for my training diaries. So moving forward, instead of a fixed publication schedule, I'm going to publish a new vlog only when I have an adventure that I want to highlight, and likely closer now to once a month. And there won't be as much overlap with the longer films from my key adventures and races. So these would be like self-contained vlogs. And I'll be calling this new series Time on Feet. This has been my username on Reddit and a few other platforms for the past five years or so, and it really encapsulates my, my whole approach to training. As you know, I typically do follow a training plan, but it's usually just made up of doing big adventures as training for my races. And I kind of just look at it all as time on feet anyway. So it could almost be the motto for this channel. So moving forward, I won't be talking quite as much about my training, but instead I'll just focus on telling good stories. And the reality is that there are quite a few other creators now on YouTube who are publishing weekly training vlogs, like my training diaries anyway, so there's no shortage of that kind of content if you do want to see you know, what goes into training for these kind of races. And you can still, of course, follow along with my training on Strava. Now, I hope that I'll then have a little bit more time to publish some separate standalone content about training, where I'll be able to go a little bit more in depth on some of the themes that I originally touched on in my first series back in 2022. So stay tuned for the first installment of my new series, Time on Feet, coming in March. 
And when it comes to members only content, I've been really enjoying publishing these new director's commentaries as supplements to my films. I've done three so far, one about Torres del Paine, about the Grand Canyon, and about the Bob Graham Round. The feedback from you has been really great, and they don't take me too much time, which is ideal, given that they're sort of intended to be bonus content. So you can expect more of these to come, and thanks as always to my supporting channel members for helping to enable me to continue to create. So lots more to come, and be sure to subscribe to my newsletter if you haven't already, and if you are interested in becoming a member, then click the join button from within a web browser. Big air. Big air. <laughs> Shredding an R.